And today we're talking about editing video with Sony Vegas. As you can see, this is the opening screen. When you bring up Sony Vegas, this is what you get. And before I go any further, let me mention this. I would highly recommend using dual monitors. If you don't use a dual monitor, you can get everything on one screen. But if you click right here, you can drag this over to another monitor. And here's what it looks like. You get this screen on one monitor, and you get this on the other. For purposes of illustration, uh, we're usually going to put the video screen right in this. We'll pop it right back on there so that we'll be able to see everything at once. But I would recommend two monitors. An overview, you have file, open. These are for opening Sony uh, video projects. Uh, here's one right here. We'll open this up. That will open a project. And we have uh, edit. There's a variety of, it's pretty much a standard window screen. View, and you can view all of the uh, different tools with Vegas. Insert, audio envelopes, video envelopes. We'll go over some of this stuff later. Tools, options, and uh, your help. So this is pretty much uh, self-explanatory. These are the most often used tools. This toolbar can be uh, changed, by the way, uh, if you would uh, like to select this. Now, frankly, I only use one tool. I use the normal edit tool, and uh, that's the only one I use. Now, we have two different types of tracks, as you can see. Audio tracks and video tracks. You can tell the audio tracks from the video tracks because they have uh, the volume control here, the pan and the center. All of these are scalable. All of the windows are scalable. You can easily um, move them around so that it is presented the way you like it. These are the audio tracks, and on an audio track, you'll be able to see the waveform. Let me zoom in on uh, waveform for a second here. This is uh, what an audio waveform looks like. Okay, you can actually see the um, see the volume levels of the waveform. And once you get used to looking at the waveform for a while, you can pretty well tell what's going on with it. You can see actually see the beats, and it's pretty easy to work with. 